supporting the organization. Uh, many of you are obviously familiar with the organization, but for those who aren't, they're new. Um, Panic for the Cure is an organization um, to help address cancer survivors uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, coming together, working as a team, uh, healing bodies, minds, and spirits. And it's a wonderful organization uh, with, uh, under Leah's leadership. And uh, I want to welcome you all here. Thank you, Joel. Good evening, everyone. Are you ready to have a great night for a great boss? Great. I am so excited to be here, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all for coming this evening to take part in our annual Bowl for the Cure event. I would also like to extend my infinite thanks to Kelly of Wild Team. Our PSC partner and I would also uh, for her incredible initiative in action and leadership in gathering you all here tonight to participate and be part of this great cause. I would also like to recognize Mr. Israel Rocha, Vice President of NYC Health and Hospitals and CEO of NYC Health and Hospitals and Work and One City Health, who is in attendance. I think uh, he will be late, but he's coming. I would like to thank him for all of his work and selflessness in making himself available to us in the vision and growth of this charity and mostly for believing in us. And with my utmost respect goes out to Elmer's Hospital that saved my life and my home away from home. And most of all to the New York Wall Street Dragons who generously provide us with gold steerer boats and equipment during practice and race. For our third year, I thank everybody for paddling with us and together we are sailing strong and I'm forever grateful. Thank you. This work and this charity is very important to me. Many of you may not know, but in addition to my own battle, I have witnessed countless deaths in a family due to breast cancer. Most recently, on March 9, we lost another one. And with a brave heart, that is why I am still here to continue this mission. Although it is with great passion and strength that we do strive, me and my PSC family can do this work of expanding our three A's, advocacy, action, and awareness on our own. We need your support and a united front against this deadly disease so that together we will create a world without breast cancer. I will be the voice, I will be the voice of the survivors and rest assured that the very heart of our cause and our survivors are our survivors <coughs> and that we will always take care of our survivors the PFC way. Tonight, it would be an honor for me to recognize our survivors by giving each of them carnation flowers as a symbol of hope. As a symbol, as a symbol of hope. And also in remembrance of those that have lost their battle and in memory of my best friend, our PFC hero, Gracie, who died June 2, 2017, a week before our kickoff. I believe that every organization always stems from a promise. And for me at PFC, this is my promise to her. So when I call your name, please come up and receive your flower in recognition. Amanda Errico, in representation of her mother, Terry. Lisa Goldman, Tony Kim, Sheila Pooster, Diane Orr, Les 
Chloe Riddle. Remember, if you can't see the camera, they can't see you. <laughs> Everybody. 